Maybe you heard about it, maybe you even seen it. But today, I will expose the men in public and prostitution. As we uncover this, we're going to show you a lot of places what's going on here. It's exclusive, nothing seen before on cameras. Yeah, flag, watching Jamel Sharif live. These are some of the faces here in the Dominican Republic of the women who chose sex as a lifestyle. I mean, this generation to generation, what's going on here in the Dominican Republic. Um, this young lady right here, um, um, your name? Your name? Elisa. Uh, Elisa Bay? Um, Elizabeth. Yeah, your name? Evelyn. Evelyn? Yeah, these are some of the women that chose the lifestyle here. And it's, they, they speak a lot of Spanish, no really no English, so I'm trying to translate best I can. Um, the Dominican Republic being the fourth largest in high end prostitution. Additionally to this, you know, the Dominican Republic is the fourth largest um, behind Brazil, Thailand, Philippines. And some of the ladies I wanted to show here, the Dominican Republic that chose a lifestyle of that, you know. And actually now you see she got a call. Hello. Probably, you know, some money. Yeah, Made me one of the guys, tourists or Dominican men. Sex for money, so. Aquí, and a lot of these girls, gringos. You say gringo. That's, no, that's, a, that's a tourist here in the Dominican Republic. It's gringo and there's Italianos here, and they they prey on young girls and sex for money. So what they do is usually get a phone call and they go meet up with the guy, hotel, some pesos, maybe thirty dollars. Use thirty dollars, thirty-five, forty dollars. Okay. I have sex with one of these females here. And they use the phone, they get the money, they spend on minutes, then you know, next day they do it all over again. They got no like real creature of saving money, financial gain, anything, just live for today, mentality. So she's on the phone again. She's, she's probably trying to call him back now or stuff like that. Work. Set at night. See, some of them support their family and they, they make money off it just doing it, you know. And they live for the day. They got the mentality live for today sometimes, you know. They get money, they buy cell phone minutes. The next day they do it all over again. Generation to generation, it's a cycle of what goes on down here in the Dominican Republic. Gringo too, freaky freaky. Italiano, freaky freaky. Freaky freaky. Italiano. Dinero, for the netto. See, so that what goes on here. We're gonna do a, so a lot more what's going on. I just wanted y'all to get a couple of faces of what's going on. A lot of women here. Um, Shimo Street Live. We're gonna we're gonna go up the block and we're gonna find some other stuff going on here. So, pick with us. Um, see a lot of women. They over here they waiting, they looking, they just hoping for some chance of some type of money situation going on. You know, after even after the interview, you can see they still right here, and they, I, I told them like leave, and that's it, it's over. They signed paperwork, and they won't leave me alone. So, to a couple of hotels, and what goes on there, and maybe I'll cover some brothels, uh, places they operate prostitution legally. Uh, so, more of that coming. So kind of dangerous out here at the same time, looking out at the same time uh, for my safety, my crew safety. But we got more coming. It's just crazy, you know, just they do what they gotta do here, and just to make money, to support their family. This Annie, she's been through a lot here, man. She's just been working, doing a lot of random jobs, translating, you know, uh, sex, you know. Just whatever you get money, just support family.
Basically, from working, you know, sex and prostitution in the streets. Yes, I'm working for making everything for home. I look body good, you know, okay. <laughs> like body. I'm working in the street. Okay, show me the rest of the place. It's Ooh. hot. Yeah. Okay, wow. So just basically just. You know, after a long night of work, you come, you spend the money here. Yes, everything my money. Yeah. Bambino? Yeah, I have one kiss. One kid? Yes. That's one kid that you want know. to see my kids? Yes. Okay. This is my kid. Okay. <laughs> I'm working for my baby, you know? It's gonna sex some money. Yes. You want to go by Zoom and everything? Mujer, okay. tranquense por ahí, que voy para allá. Pero, no problem si me aprende everything? Sí, okay. Cool. She cooking for me and everything. Saluda a Doña Olivia, dile, hi. Hola, hi. This is another room, this room for my clothes, everything. Room my baby here. <laughs> this room my baby. Wow. Okay. So that means a pretty decent house compared to you know people hear stories of the Dominican Republic, you know, low poverty, low poverty rate, you know, stuff like that. You know, um, as far as you know, people live. But, but you look at her situation when she lived at it look it looked pretty decent. More than people probably expect for somebody who works in the streets is doing prostitution. Um, Okay, cool. That's nice. So What's this room right here? What's this room? Oh, this is the bathroom. Bathroom. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay. It's my bathroom. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> okay. So this is three bedroom. This is three bedroom. Yes. Wow. So how much per month rent you pay per month? I pay two hundred bucks a month. Two hundred U.S. Yes. 200, so 200 US. US. I don't think you can get an apartment in New York City for even <laughs> 200 US, let alone you can get it here. I mean, that's crazy. I wish I could pay I 200 US. Yeah. 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 So nice. Well, this one of the ladies, you know, that she's sharing a story where she lived bad and just showing. It's hot. I am fucking hot, baby. You hot. It's unbelievable <laughs> hot, then you don't know I'm sweating right now. <laughs> but it's hot, and this this one she go, and then she, she spend money, she come here, and Take care. It's one of the girls that that's the money financially into where they stay at and how they yes. live. And, and uh, I, I'm, a, I'm not gonna say the smarter ones, but persons just just know how to hustle and know how the business go. I'm just learning. It's new to me, and I'm we just here. We just hit uncovered. Lady got off the plane and said, "You know, we're gonna do something different." And we ended up here. And we just met people as we go, and they they more than welcome to show us when we come how they live and what they're doing and what, how they make a living. So, I mean, I'm, it's mind open. It's like mind blowing to me. Me here. Yes, you want to see oh. my body? Oh, <laughs> you want to show you her body, see? I guess. He's promoting. He's promoting. So, so you plan on doing this forever? Like, we get the trans. 
No, I I am working for home for my baby, you know, and my family go. When me have a this, I'm not working no more. It's fucking street. Well, she got her straight up, so she's not working anymore. Yeah, it's the more stuff. Yeah. Okay. So how much money per month do you think you make from, you know, selling your body? Al mes, oh, maybe, uh, um, for more? Yeah. Maybe 4,000, 30,000 pesos. Maybe if you, too much people, you know? In U.S. it's 4,000, it's like what? How much is that U.S.? In the U.S.? 30,000, 30,000. Thousand, no. no it's like, like, okay. like a thousand pesos. Thousand, like two hundred. Both. Oh, like around thousand. Thousand two hundred US. Thirty thousand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you know, now as far as that, now you know, you uh, thousand US. She makes a month doing it, selling her body, you know. But you know, in in America, you know, a job fifteen hundred dollars a month. You work eight hours a day. You round about an average job is like fifteen hundred dollars, fourteen hundred dollars um, minimum. You probably make a month working a legitimate job. And here, sex is a service. Um, for a lot of these females here. It, in the Dominican Republic, you know, just being one of them. So, I mean, you could just have a comparison of the jobs they have here. There's no jobs here, or low pay jobs here. So, the most money they make is really the service of sex. And this one of the females here. And it's just mind blowing you compare it to the States and compare it to, you know, this. It's like, it's different jobs, you know, different things they do, but kind of the same, you know, certain, like, certain circumstances. So, okay, cool. Do you have any like agua? I, I'm hot. Yes, Sorry. I know. Right, Yo cool. ya preparo preparar cool. refresco. All right, cool. Okay. Seeing all of what's going on, the women for sex, sell their bodies for sex. It's a mind, it's just a mind shock. I had to take a minute and just think about it. Like, life seems just so, seems so different here than, you know, America, what I'm used to. So. I mean, I mean, you think of the women, what they go through, and, Everything I'm seeing now, instead of more to see, as you get more into the trenches and more into the story, it's a, it's a, it's amazing how to keep their spirits up. You know, knowing what they're going through, in certain situations given. You know, it's it's crazy. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be real. Shit's crazy. I'm gonna say it just like that. This shit is crazy. For the first time, say just like that. Um, it's crazy. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I mean. Thirty dollars U.S. You know you can have sex with these women. Some of these women could be your wives in the U.S. You would love to have a wife. Some of these fit females I've seen coming up here look real nice, beautiful women. But um, work so cheap, money so hard to come by. They do what they gotta do. Look at this guy. You got the kids. They had no shoes. You got a real gun or what? What is that? A real gun? You got a real gun with no clip in it. I don't know if it's a real gun or not, but we ain't gonna stay too long if it is. Out here, and it's, it's crazy just to, I mean, just to come here and be in New York or be in the States and just come here and just experience this took me back. I was expecting something, but I'm not expecting what I thought I was gonna expect, so it's crazy. Hey, we, we just got where we're on our way to. A brothel where prostitution is they work for money. This means the transportation out here is a motor poncho. Take you around. They're showing us right now. They're taking us to one of the brothels here. So we're moving live as we can right now. So this means the transportation we're using right here in the Dominican Republic. A couple guys, they're taking us to a brothel, a playhouse. And a lot of the prostitutes, they pay for play here. So we're going to see if we can get in there and get some footage. I'll show y'all. All right, so we'll see what's up, man. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't.
Huh? Girl, stay. So you cannot go like that. Oh. You can go to us. It's crazy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Agila. Take house. Come on, I'm going to see how this No. Like, come back, you should come back at six. We can do it. So come back at six, we can do it. What the fuck are you Show you the process, but we had to sneak in the hair. So I, I paid for a girl, and let's let you know what's going on here. She agreed that she'll do it on camera. Um, boss don't know, but this was going on. So, see, she actually comes in with the towel, and she actually is sexy. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? She's sexy. Oh, there. Yeah. I picked a good one, but you know this is going on, and she actually give me the towel. You know, there's 15 girls out there, and this is one of the girls I picked. And it's the process of the, the brothels and pay for play. So, you know, she gave me the towel. I'm supposed to go in the shower and shower in the bio. I think I'm saying that right, bio, bathroom? Yes. And once I do that, you know, I guess half an hour, maybe an hour for me, I don't know. If it was going down like that, then, you know, she would take the money and then she would she go buy a business and she'll go do it again. Um, it's really, really dangerous out here to be doing stuff like this, but you know, it's safe, and we're doing it safe, and we're doing it the right way. Let you see, paint a picture of what's going on here. Beautiful young lady, you can see, you know, here in the lifestyle, you know, what's going on here. So, I guess she gets sexy, and you know, what other else? But, <laughs> it's crazy, you know, since this ain't really going down, I mean, we guess we ain't gonna do it. It's never really going down, just, just showing you how it go, and this is one of the ladies out here that does this, and it's a lifestyle. And this is the broth doing the things that happen here. So I mean, this how I go. Vamos yo. El avilano no sirve ni me echaste a los perros. Veme el tatuaje hoy. ¿Por qué? Ay, Dios mío, coño, ¿por qué mi madre me hizo tan seria? Se vagabunda. Son dos. Yo no sé, no trajo la otra. Tenga dos semilletas. Claro, trae cerveza por ti. No, él dijo dos, espera. Hoy día de playa. Y creo que es lo que son esas mujeres. Yo odio cuando usted sirve la cerveza así hasta los clientes. Usted tiene que aforrarla, la cerveza, con el culo. One of the girls right here, and she actually, she liked me, so she won't let me get away from her. I came here to do my job and to keep being on me. I don't know what's going on. She's taking her own video at the same time. 
but she liked me, so. But you know what it is down here is pay for play, so I don't really think I'm gonna be a part of it, but at the same time, man, I wish I had her in New York City. Maybe I would treat her nice, you know, like a, a queen or you know, somebody nice, but she liked me. She's beautiful, so. But you, you, you are, um, <laughs> you prostitute, I can't. You prostitute, I can't. It's against my code. I can't wife, I can't wife him. Papi, pero que yo no comprendo lo que tú I can't hacer. wife you, I can't, because prostitute. Maybe if you wasn't, I might need to do something with it. I can't wife you, sorry. Se, se acabó la grabación. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ciao. Um, we got one of our other connects. They told us about a guy named Claudio. He's here. He's one of. Um, it's like a hustler here. They've been in Republic. You know, anything you need, girls. Anything you probably need. You know, as far as women are concerned, tour concerned. He's the man you need to come see. My city be over here, so I guess the right address. I'm trying to meet up with him. He should be waiting for me. So. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? What's going on with you? Tell me, you know? He does some more shit, different toilets. Yeah. So what's up, man? I heard you got a little you something going friends? on. Yeah, we got a little something going on, man. I don't know. Let me see. You want to see? Yeah. Take it, take it, take it. I got a couple of girls for you, man. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Going on, man. What's going on with you, dude? What's going on, man? Welcome, to, welcome to Dominican Republic, man. Hello, Funda. So, what's your name? What's your name? Leona. My name is Leona. So, what's the ages? What's the ages of the girl in here? Who? Cool. What's the ages of the woman in here? That girl? Yeah. Yeah, you know, that, that girl were in private service, you know? It's private, and that girl too. These good girls. There's some different, you know? Something special. Like, um, like you know, like a candy shop. And what's going on in the States, man? Same thing. So, you know, this is what you're working with, what's going on. No, everything will happen and what you got to offer. I see you. No, other girl, Columbian? this is the longest girl. Okay. Look, something different like than Republic. Dominican girls. Yeah. It's something real different, man. Yeah. Look at the dairies. Look at the dairies. <laughs> you got this dairy. Republica Dominicana, de la Republica Nuris. They say like a Dominican buddy. Beautiful girls. Dominican Republic, man. Yeah. So how long have they been out here working in the street? Like, how long have they been working in the street? Like, what's some of the things? How long have they been doing? Like, like um, I don't know. They got a job? I mean, for how long? Hey, you tell you what you're doing? Yes. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah. And you got kids? Anyone got kids? A little bit of a hair. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that a husband? Boyfriend? They didn't know it. No. No. <laughs> no. Boyfriend. Everybody, see, you know? So everybody ain't got no, kids with no. no husband, no boyfriend. No, yo no boyfriend. No boyfriend? No, no tiene boyfriend. hijo, but no tiene marido. Oh. Soltera. Wonder Man. Here. Wonder Man. 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 Wonder no. One kid. Solteras. <laughs> one kid. One kid. Tú tienes un hijo, mi hijo. Soltera, sí, one. No boyfriend, no husband. No. Tú tienes un hijo con los hombres. So what's up with the Dominican men? They don't love you. Que que lo que con los hombres dominicanos que se nos tratan bien, eh. You're beautiful, no. wow. Sí, muchos amigos, son bonitos, pero compromiso serio hasta ahora. Sí, serio. No, 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 no
So they, they don't they don't support you. You got a baby though. Why? Is American men different? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Italian, <laughs> Italiano. Si, son más. A ver. Ah, Italiano. Son más como, como atento, yeah. amable, romántico. Oh, 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 so, translate, translate. Oh, you wow. say the American guys feel like uh, making more like a more attention yeah. and feel like a more romantic, you know? Yeah. Fuck off. I'm Dominican, don't speak like that in my face. Uh, no! Uh, oh. okay. So you're in the bathroom right now. You're in the bathroom. Right now, right in front of the camera, so you're in the bathroom. I guess. You gotta, you gotta go when you gotta go. No. You gotta go when you gotta go, I guess, so. Get all that. So, Damn. Three in one room. So you you can imagine um three in one room just you know grinding all day and just out here in the streets, man, just hustling and you got quality all just I'm trying to you know speak for language, man. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know it's days in in one room and just grinding out, you know, and just doing what they gotta do, man. Just use the bathroom. Look. They're just showing you what's going on. Get down. Yeah, yeah. God damn. It's one of the spots though. It's one of the spots that you come at the girls, they chill here, they relax here. Yeah. How much how much how much it costs a month here? No, I Night house of a month. Three chicas, para three chicos, bueno, para hacer un party. You understand what it says? It's three girls with three men. It's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> normally, the, everybody promotes. You know, normally, the day everybody promotes. From early, everybody promotes themselves. I mean, that, that's what it is. The, the girl promotes. make a promise, and that what the girl said it, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, all the blonde people make a picture like the uh, Dominican Republic is all, all one question, it's not like that. That's the real Dominican. So you get to see it, what's going on here, man. you never seen it, you maybe heard about it, maybe seen it, but you know, we get to see it now, what's going on here. You know, these are the women. I mean, <laughs> it's live, it's live, you know. <laughs> You know, some of the, like you see some of the kids here, they, they go to school at like 13, 14 years old, right? Like the kids, the little girls, you know, they start off in their life, you know, 13, 14 years old. How long before, you know, they start, you know? So, some some guys in the school stop, stop the school like, um, Half a time, don't finish, you know? They don't finish school half a time. Normally, the, the guys don't finish school. But the young girls make the, you know, make the babies. So the young girls make the babies and stuff like that, so. Yeah, the guys the people don't finish school. So a lot of young girls, you know, they, as soon as they get 13, 14 years old, they really hit the streets, man, and they start wanting to hustle and get money. That's yeah. what's basically going on. The girls are young, man, you know? And you see I'm walking by, and they see the camera and see me, the camera's off, they was looking, side eye me, give me a look, you know, like they wanted to like, it's always flirtatious. So it starts up real early, you know, when you get, you know. It's, it's, but it's, it's, cra it's crazy, the whole situation when I was here, it's, whole, it's crazy how, you know, the women just, you know, what's the ready, point? you know, they ready for anything. Normally, the people think like the Dominican Republic is, is easy. Dominican Republic is too hard, man. It's too hard. A lot of people don't got nothing in the house to eat. And you know, everybody got hungry, everybody want to eat. Mm. That's the point, my nigga. You know? For so that, they get no, don't finish the school, go to the street. So don't finish school, go to the street. So somebody got to pay the rent, and somebody don't got the food, and want to make the money in the street for the food. You know? That's the point. That's real. That's real. Dominican Republic is real hard. The tourist people think like it. Dominican Republic is easy, it's not like that. Uh, so, so how many yo, girls do you know you went to school with or seen them in school when they was young and they grew lot, up? A lot fucking girls. They grew up and after like with 13, 14 they started, you know, you know, yeah, doing, 
Nothing in the streets, you know. Sex, whatever. Hey! Get okay, Manny! And when the white people come here, call them, I'm staying some play and they're going. Look at black. So and what about, going. you know, is it, is, it, is it all ages? I mean, you know a lot of females that, that grew up young and you see them now, you're like... Look, I see a lot of shit. Like, yeah. I see a lot of shit. Italian people, German people, you know, white people. I see a lot of shit. And what I see, I'm still like, damn. Oh, my damn. Oh, I like that shit. Like that, so you know, that's just crazy what's going on, man. As I seen the young girls walking by, I was like, You see, they were so little, I'm like, You was too little to be you even looking at me, but I mean, no. they here and they, it's all about the money, yeah. I think, you know. Let me ask you, it's let me a ask you one question, though. Let, let me ask you one question. You don't see when the, the young girl see you speak English or they get looky, yeah. but they get see your tools, okay. but that they get looky, you know. So they just don't look you, they get look you like a hundred dollars. Oh, so when she seen me speak English, she knew automatically. She thought See, money. The yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know because I'm like, why she looking at me? Because I thought it was because of the cameras, but when she seen me speak English, she knew that. Yeah, man. There's money involved. Yeah, please, you see that. That girl speak English. Huh? That girl speak, that people speak English. Okay, people so speak he's saying the cameras. People saying the cameras with location. He's keeping it raw, I mean. At this point, we're just doing what we want to do because that's how I'm, I believe in the story, you know. I go in, so you can see the young girl passing right here. As she walked by to the, to the left, another young girl passing by here. Maybe looking for sex, pay for play. So, you can see a lot of tourists around here in this area. You know, white people, Italianos, um, looking for sex. They come on vacation here. Maybe have a young girl at the hotel, I don't know. They pay for sex to come here. That's my country. That's my country, my dude. I love my country, you know that. I love my country. I see it stays pretty. But my country, that's the best country. So if you got something in your pocket, you make whatever you want here. Yeah. You see Italiano just walking and just, what's going on here, so. I mean, really just, it's a lot we've seen today, man. A lot, I've just here and I've been through a lot. You know, it's hot here, I mean, the weather's cooled down a little bit now, but you can just see what's going on as far as, you know, you know, different different races here. I thought I see all Dominican people, but I see white, Haitian, black, uh, you know, Italianos, Guidos, what they call it here. A lot of people, so. It's just amazing. You can see a group of girls over here. A group of girls on this side. Be careful. Watch here. out, watch out. To the left. Watch out, man, watch out. So, you see a group of girls right to the, to the right. More girls coming down. There's some girls right here. More girls, more girls. Fresh, not easy. Real problem too. Yeah, but don't. But when the girl 13, 14 looking at me, I just got. I took a bad light. Like you got. Like, don't damn. look at me like you know. Don't look me like that. There's like 10 or 20 of them. So I'm like, man. So I'm looking at all them like potential. You know, ladies are gonna get wet up in the game. No, I told you. Gonna start doing the sex shit. I told you the girls don't look me like a. Like a look, like a damn, that guy look good. No, they get look you yeah. like a damn. Eat look, English. Look, look hundred dollars right there. Yeah. That's, even at 13. that's what they get see. They get see you pocket. So even at 13, 14, the ladies look at you like money. So it's, yo, the thing about it, generation to generation. That's what I mean. It's a generation. It's the new the generation. Bike well, you know, it's a new generation, but a generation to generation who goes on. If you read the history, it says generate generation. And I learned that when I spoke to you, you say somebody live for today. A lot of people think the mentality live for today here. They don't think about tomorrow. They don't that, think about financial gain. No, that. That's what and I told you. Normally the people that. think only for today. The people know what's going on tomorrow. Exactly. So that's the thing that's going on here. So I see the young girls, they think about right now too. And they let me know it is generation to generation that's going on. The generation to generation was going on. It's real, real, real. And it's deep. Real. It's deep. It's deeper than 
what I expected. When I came here, I didn't expect that. So. Normally, the blonde people come here, but you know, I told you before, so if you have something in your pocket, you can do do whatever you want. Something like money. Yeah. A lot of money, you can do what you want. You know, in the States, you don't possibly. In Europe, you don't possibly make it like that. In the States, you can't do nothing like that. It's a problem. Problem. You know? yeah. But here, if you got money, you, you make whatever you want. And the people speak shit, you buy some money, that's it. That's the point, my nigga. Exactly. That's amazing, man. It's amazing, you know, just what's going on here. Whole thing, man, and Claudio, what we talk about is the truth. And, and I learned that from you said, you know, live for today, it's a mentality. And when I see the young girls, generation generation, that's when I believe it. And you see it. From the mothers, the aunties, the grandmothers, it's the same thing. So. You no, know, normally, the mother and the father never know. But the mother see, the father see, they make expensive shoes, nice clothes, and the mother and the father don't pay for that. But don't think where they can make the money. The people don't ask them where you make the money. They can make the, fa the father and the mother buy that alone. Exactly. But they, you know the young girls want to feel, want to look good. So they, they, they turn to just, they, they get influenced by, you know, uh, the tourists that come here, the white guys that come here, because mostly white men. I heard of some Domini even Dominican men approach them and they, they want to take care of them and show them something, you know, because they don't have nobody taking care of them. They're going to go where, they, where the money at. That's so it. that's just the hustle and I just, that's the life and that's the game. So the money that's talk. real. Yeah. Money talk. Money talk. And they, money and they talk mean that bullshit work, man. They mean that literally. Money talk, bullshit walk through. That's it, so. my, my nigga. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think like a, sometime, one time, one day, my baby walked in the street on the beach, I don't know, and one blonde people coming like, hey, I got 100 and 200 for you. I feel like I feel crazy. When I see that shit, I feel crazy, man. My baby, this is my life. And when I see that shit, I'm thinking of my baby. I'm thinking of my family. Then my sister. That's what I'm thinking. So you think about your kids, and they grew up, whatever, uh, somebody approached them. Yeah. Except your daughter. That's what I'm thinking, man. You, it just turns you up, because you, know you know the life. I know real, see but I'm staying in the street. But I don't want my baby girl to come to the street. I don't want my sister to come to the street. And I'm thinking, damn, what's going on in my country? What's going on in my people? What's going on in my family? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, and so, the fucking president right here from the Dominican Republic. They don't help. Every day, it's more hard. More hard. More hard. Every day. So the president, the government, the mayor, whatever, the they don't do anything to help. They don't make care. All the money just for the president. That's it. For calling Leonardo Fernandez. Yeah, so what is, do you really think, in a, statistically, like, your daughter, when she gets 13, 14, do you think that's going to happen to her? She's going to be... You know, for that, I want her hot. I want to work hard. That. Okay. That. I wanna make I wanna make some money in the bank. I know one time one day I don't possibly work. I know possibly work too much. You know? Mm -hmm. And I wanna got something in the bank for my baby. For that. But I know my country every day small heart. I see, I'm staying in the street, I see everything. I know this I, I know the street really. I'm staying in the States before and I'm staying here. What's the difference between New York or this, like, you've been in New York, you yeah, said, right? Yeah, Queens, Corona. What's the, difference between, what's the twist, difference between New York? I know it's a big difference, but to, tell me your, like, vision, uh, what's your views, or what you think about New York, uh, when you stayed at previously, and, like, now. What's the you difference know, between You know what's the difference? In the States, you got more opportunity. You know? Yeah. It's more opportunity. Here, yeah. It's nothing. The opportunity here is only for the people who got money. Yeah. So if you don't got money, you don't got any opportunity. Yeah. 
that's the point. So, yeah, it's really, it's really no hope, man, when you look at the situation. There's no hope. I mean, I look around, I just see, you know, girls working for low money in these restaurants and bars that work for little or no money. And that's like, the money they make probably $150 US a month, you know, just to take care of their self. You know, and it's like, they work harder than any, anybody I've seen in the States. And even if she's sweeping, the young lady sweeping the floor, you know, right here, you got a young lady sweeping, and she's probably sweeping, she's probably sweeping more harder. And, you know, she's sweeping the street corner, right here in the street, and she's sweeping it. And she's sweeping and she's working harder, you know, for little money. You couldn't get a girl in America even to sweep outside, you know, let alone that. work so. for that money for more, and the people want to pay rent, food, energy. Some people want to want to pay school too, and school. The people that money is it's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. You know how much how many I'm pay for more my house? Pay ten thousand. Ten thousand. Three fucking hundred dollars. And I gotta pay school for my baby, for my wife, for me, I for the school, the, the school. I don't wanna pay them, um, you know, clothes. Come on. Well, it's life, man. It's the life and it's here. For that, I'm staying in the street. I speak five languages, man. And five languages, it's nothing. It's the life in this here. You heard from him, man. It's a lot going on. And as we uncover or uncap some of what's going on, so this is it. So, yeah.